Okay, I'm gonna do another uh, tour bo toolbox tour. I haven't done one in a while. Uh, it's gonna be a repeat of a lot of stuff, um, but whatever. Uh, this is my box, Snap-on, four bank. Uh, this box is a 2001. I bought it used in 2005. And uh, I've been using it uh, pretty much every day since then. So start on the top this is my one and only cornhole tool it's a rechargeable uh, tire filler uh, I just moved to this spot so it's not really dialed in yet uh, torch ear protection some uh, face masks tape uh, bondo uh, board some belts Dust pan, some battery chargers. Those will get those will get uh, mounted to the wall at some point. It's about that. Not that exciting. Sockets. Uh, I have a tech angle half inch snap on, but uh, it shit the bed. So I just bought this cheap Tecton. It's like a split beam, I think they call it. It's like uh, pretty much only for putting wheels and tires on. Just fine. Uh, some cheap Tecton half inch extensions. Some uh, air tools I almost never use. Uh, selection of ratchets. This is the uh, one of choice. I use that majority of the time. Extensions, snap-on. Uh, torque sockets, snap-on. These are the heavy-duty versus the uh, regular-duty. Let's find the same one. I don't know. Okay. Anybody who isn't doesn't do this for a living isn't going to really appreciate this. But if you look... Focus, you bitch. Uh, see how... The edge of the the tip is square on the gold one, and it's slightly rounded on the other one. Uh, that makes a huge difference. If you use these every day, the gold ones, it'd be a pain in the ass because they don't find their way into the hole as easily as these do, okay? But then they're getting more grip so these don't these these are just, they are definitely stronger and i don't know the metallurgy or any of that but I, that's all i know is that one little beveled edge makes a huge difference so take that what you will those are a lot of money i bought them a couple years ago but they're probably 300 bucks uh, <clears throat> these inverted torques. Um, I've had these a long time. And these are good. But these are, I don't even know what brand they are. They're in, they're in uh, I got them on Amazon. They're not the cheapest ones, but they're still, you know, they're not, they're not snap-on expensive, but they're, um, they're relatively inexpensive and they're, they're great. That's all you need. Um, what the hell are these? Inverted Torx Plus or Spline, I think. I forget what you call these. I don't remember why I bought those, but those are cheap. And these are Torx Plus. Um, I needed these for one thing, for uh, cargo tie-downs on Mercedes-Benz. Um, those are cheap. Um, these little shorties. Come on, you bitch. Okay. These are these are really these are really good. Um, these I got from Maco, and I paid a bundle for them. Okay, these dang it, I'm pretty sure the same one. These are the spline version. I got these on. Oh, maybe it's reverse. Maybe I got these from Maco. Whatever. Uh, one of them was expensive. One of them was cheap. I think they're the same thing. Uh, 
when you buy stuff from Cornwell or Maco or even Snap-on, always double check uh, Amazon to see if they sell the same shit cheaper. Uh, Snap-on quarter inch, shallow, mid, and deep. Um, these are the regular spline, where'd it go? These are the regular spline or, or a triple square sockets. You cannot go wrong with these. I have the snap-on ones from before these existed. Um, snap-on these, these you, you can't even don't, even, don't even talk to me because there's no comparison. Um, so the ones you use every single day, you, you just can't beat the snap-on stuff. You just can't. People talk all the time about warranty. I don't give a shit about the warranty. These don't break. You lose them, but they don't break. Um, these 12 point are cheap. My assortment of swivels. Um, I just bought what I need. These magnetic sockets, same thing. Uh, these are good. These are Snap-on and Maco. Um, 3 8 deep, 3 8 chrome deep, half inch shallow, half inch deep. All uh, Snap-on. All these 6.1s, oh no, that's all mix or max, match. So some of them are Snap-on or Mac, other ones are cheap. All those 12 point are all cheap. I bought those just for uh, Mercedes-Benz suspension work. And those are, I mean, for all those 12 point sockets was like 200 bucks for all of them, so. Uh, these super deeps, I have this 10 millimeter before I found this set. Uh, this set probably cost half of what this one Snap-on 10 millimeter cost. Um, that's about it for that. Uh, they call these cabinet screwdrivers. They're long, uh, regular Torx, uh, Snap-on set. This I use almost all the time. These are long um, Torx. I use these probably every day. Random shit back there. Um, panel tools, I have two of these because I use it constantly, every day, all day. The long one I rarely use, the big one I rarely use. These two I rarely use. This set of long picks I rarely use, but they're nice when you need them. Um, this set here, rarely use. All this variety of little screwdrivers. Um, I use these Coke spoon style ones all the time, every day. I don't know why this won't focus. Those, those you need. Um, okay, these plastic tools, this brand here, Aries, whatever it is, Amazon, the black ones. If you buy the, the cheapest, like the red ones, um, they're not the same. This, these, are, you know, 15 bucks a set. And uh, they're the best. I lost one. I, I lost one of these, so I'm going to buy another set. Uh, this is a Mercedes-Benz weather strip tool, but I use it for uh, bumpers. We don't ever repair a bumper that's got a tear or a rip or a hole. But if it's dented, you can heat the bumper and then you work it out with this. Works great. Other assorted shit. Uh, Audi um, hook tool, it's very helpful. Uh, Audi uh, Q7. Uh, emergency neutral tool. Um, I bought these because I saw them on the internet and because I like the way they look. Uh, but it doesn't close all the way. And I use them for straightening steel. So that was a little bit of a disappointment, but whatever. Uh, nut cert tool, old school nut cert tool. I don't even know why I still have it, never use it. Old school rivet gun. I don't know why I still have it. Assorted pliers. I'm sure I did a video about these. These are fucking spectacular. Everybody should have these. I bought a set at home. The, the quality of these is unbelievable. Uh, then I bought these. These these I don't really use that much, but they're still very nice. These are also Nipix. 
uh, they're great. The rest of this stuff is mostly snap-on. Oh, these are just for plastic, cutting plastic, like the little, um, on bumper covers, the little plastic tabs they put on there to hold it together. Those are helpful. Uh, <clears throat> hose picks. I just bought these. I always forget about them. I never, never used them. Uh, sorted hose picks, uh, clamps. I'm a body man. I don't use this stuff that often. Oh, this thing. I've heard people call it ridiculous. And I called it ridiculous for the majority of my career until I just decided to buy one. This stupid little thing is awesome. It's for taking uh, uh, <clears throat> exhaust donuts off. Works great. Put a little WD-40 on it. Put a little WD-40 here so so the donut slides off. It's great. Uh, miscellaneous electrical shit. Fuses. Plugs for lines. Uh, nothing really much to talk about there. Hammers. Just got that Wilton mini sledge. Because my old wood handle sledge, I felt like it was, when I used it, it was really rocking my hand. So I was hoping that would insulate it a little bit. Snap-on body hammers. There is no substitute when anybody tells you it's a lie. But you don't need a lot. You need this one. Start with this one. The part number's not going to be any good because that's almost 40 years old. Um, the dead blows, I like the snap-on, but they're not necessary. But snap-on body hammers, don't even bother. And with anything else. Vice grips, good luck. All the new vice grips are all Chinese and they're garbage. Uh, angle grinders with wire wheels on them for removing caulk. Uh, oscillating tool I use with a carbide bit to uh, cut quarter panels in hard to reach places. Heat gun, a couple rivet guns, sawzall, which I never use anymore. This is miscellaneous crap. Battery chargers, about the only thing in there that gets used. Uh, more miscellaneous mechanical tools. Don't use most of this stuff. Just bought that power probe. Haven't had an opportunity to use it. This is odds and ends. This is another set I bought of this, uh, of these little things. OEM tools, total garbage. Total, look at how they're twisted and they're mangled. Garbage. I got some spares of stuff I always use. Some stuff I never use. This is drawers of sorted hardware. Uh, we buy hardware for every car we work on, so we have a lot of extra hardware. Like uh, Audi and some other companies sell hardware kits. So you put a bumper on a car and you get a hardware kit and you get all the hardware. Uh, wrenches, uh, those stubby snap-ons, almost never use them, those angle snap-ons. These I bought a million years ago and I got them for nothing. These, same thing, got them for nothing. They're not that old. These are almost 40 years old. <clears throat> These are inverted Torx wrenches. Don't use them very often, but they're really handy when you need them. The original, those are original gear wrench. Uh, these are reversing gear wrench. Don't really use those. Um, these long box end gear wrench. Look at this. Um, those are absolutely must have. I use those. When I need a wrench 90% of the time, I use those. They're, they're fantastic. Uh, snap on. I mean, for an open end, you can't beat a snap on. But for a box end, you're not going to break it. Uh, these are some bigger ones I bought cheap. Same thing as before. Like I said on those torques, you're not going to see this. And, and most people won't believe me. But the angle of that cut into that wrench is too much. Like uh, some Mercedes-Benz uh, uh, suspension nuts are really short. And this, like... You almost can't get them off with these, and that's what I bought them for. But that those those five wrenches, they were probably 
I don't know, 150 bucks when it, one of them would have been $100 from Snap on or more. So, whatever. Uh, cutting tools, files, scrapers, uh, spot weld. These are uh, Mercedes Benz Gap tools. And they are there. And this, these are the Audi Gap tools. Audi and Mercedes and BMW will give you specifications for the gaps so you can measure all your gaps and get them to exactly where they're supposed to be. We use uh, <clears throat> cordless tools. Okay, I had all these snap on ones and then I got, um, I wanted the brushless. So I bought two of the brushless. This one's brushless and this one's brushless. When I got this one, and it only had the trigger, it didn't have the toggle, uh, I didn't want it. So he sold it to me for, for cheap, and then I uh, sent my non-brushless one out to get it remanned. When I got it back, it was a brand new tool. So then I said, well, screw it, I'll send them all out. So I sent them all out and got all new tools. So I sent them all out for remand. It was like a hundred bucks a piece to get them remanded and they just send you a brand new tool. So uh, that's cool. <clears throat> and the stubby half inch uh, mid torque, awesome. And then I got the 12 M12 three eight stubby. And that's cause sometimes the, the stamp on is too, is too long, but it's much narrower. So there's a place for each of them. Uh, I got the Milwaukee um, M12 rivet gun. And this is okay, except I had to drill out all the uh, mandrels or anvils or whatever you call them, because the, the, the rivet would get stuck in there. So I had to drill them all out a little bit. This little uh, Milwaukee sander is pretty nice. You got a, a spot weld drill. Awesome. If you don't have it, you need it. Uh, <clears throat> belt sander, Dynabraid, it's the best. Uh, these orange eraser wheels are ridiculous. They last forever. Uh, MBX wheel, some drills, some random shit. Uh, air chisels. I almost never use air chisels or my... Um, Saws all anymore because the vibration kills my elbows. I have uh, two more air chisels that never get used. Occasionally, I need it for something, so it's there with a chisel in it, but not very often. Uh, this is all metalworking tools. Uh, the cornhole guy came in and he had these in his um, in his flyer, so I looked them up on Amazon. They were like half the price. So those are. Just just like chisels for working dents out and stuff. Uh, plastic. This is for knocking dents out of aluminum, or you could use it for steel if you want. This one's for aluminum. The same thing, plastic for aluminum. Uh, some pry bars, some spoons, some dollies. Same thing. Snap on dollies. You don't need them all, but they're the best. You can't argue. Uh, more vice grips that you can't get unless you're old. Uh, okay, now I have a bunch of more of these blow molded cases with shit in them. And uh, I moved them into another cabinet. I might move them back. This is um, a parking sensor tool, hole punch. Uh, this thing is ridiculously good. Um, Amazon, great. If you ever put holes in uh, in uh, bumpers for park sensors, that's the way. This uh, coolant lift is the best. Worth some other random shit there. Some of these drawers don't close very good. Uh, sorted um, crap. More crap. Uh, drill bits, uh, wire wheels, other stuff. I'm 
more metal tools, slide hammer. Look at that, nice. Uh, some keys, clamps. Uh, this is uh, like PPE and stuff like that, gloves, welding helmet. Okay, this is my cabinet. This doesn't belong to me. This is the shop's cabinet. Once again, I just moved into this building, so nothing's quite organized. Bunch more blow molded cases that I don't know what I'm gonna do with, how I'm gonna organize them. Uh, Milwaukee flashlight or light, it's pretty handy. Uh, random body man shit. Uh, some uh, welding tarps, moving blankets, uh, different cue pads, sound pads, pig mats. Uh, this is uh, This is one of the best things I got. Not that laptop. Okay, I know this is a terrible video, but you know, if you watch it, great. If not, great. Uh, Porta Ferguson Porta Power. There is no better Porta Power. Uh, Porta Ferguson is out of business, so um, I couldn't find it. I found this on like some random website that sells uh, random out of stock shit and uh, 1600 bucks but I, I don't usually gamble with shit like that but I gambled I ordered it and boom I got it super pumped uh, some wood coolant some uh, welding paraphernalia gloves ziploc bags Uh, this isn't mine either, but if um, the shop didn't have it, I would buy one uh, because uh, it's awesome. If you're doing body work and you don't have some kind of dust collection, uh, you need to go that route. You don't need to get this extravagant, but this is, that's the best, the best. Some horses, some garbage. I feel like that's about it. Doesn't seem like that much. So, uh, so that's it. Again, anybody tells you a snap-on toolbox isn't the best, they're lying to you. Oh, I got a snap-on jack down there. That's definitely not the same as a Harbor Freight one. It can tell you anything they want, but it's just not the same. <clears throat> Look closely at it. The whole design of it's different. They can say whatever they want. It's totally different. So, okay, man.